The Biodesign Innovation Fellowship is a rigorous, exciting, creative opportunity for talented, passionate physicians, engineers, business people to come to Stanford, avail themselves of the resources on the Stanford campus, in the Silicon Valley, and of the incredible faculty here at Stanford Biodesign to learn a systematic process of medical innovation. People learn the process to take an observation of an unmet clinical need, create an idea, and develop a project plan that could get that idea to patients. So the goal of the fellowship program is to teach you how to develop medical devices and make sure that the ones you develop actually matter to patients. The most essential thing that I learned as a fellow in biodesign was to spend the time and really have the patience for honing that unmet clinical need before jumping into any solution. We like to think about the need as the DNA of the invention. If you do the need finding right, you have a very good chance of getting the project right. We take very seriously a commitment to give our students and fellows a real world experience in innovation. That is how you learn in the field of innovation, by getting your hands dirty. This is not a course you take where the projects are assigned and the answers are known. This is something that you do where you're working on something that nobody has actually solved yet. So the Biodesign Fellowship year is uh, broken down into really five key components. The first is boot camp where everyone uh, learns the basic process and learns about each other. The next portion is uh, needs identification and screening where we observe real unmet needs in a specific area and then work through filtering those needs into uh, really defining an opportunity for the team to invent. Next is invention, where they ideate potential technology solutions to their unmet need. And finally is implementation, building a realistic project plan that could get that technology uh, to the patients. I really enjoyed working on a multidisciplinary team as part of the um, Biodesign Fellowship. Innovation is a team sport. It's not uh, an individual activity because it takes a team to really win. What's really helpful about having uh, diverse backgrounds and talents on a team is that people with different ideas tend to be less conformist. And the more differences, the more opportunity for divergent thinking and, uh, and real innovation. When we first started working with the team psychologist, I was a little bit apprehensive, but now I find extreme value in it. Um, it gave my team a chance to have a safe place for conflict, and it also allowed me to understand how people viewed me. I think the team members all find that learning how to communicate, learning how to give feedback, receive feedback, how to work with other people in a way that's respectful and animating is really one of the most valuable parts of their experience. One of the great things about the Biodesign Fellowship is our network of mentors. I support the Stanford Biodesign Program because I love being surrounded by folks who are just committed to making a difference in healthcare, and that's exactly what I find here. Each year the fellows have the opportunity to work with over a hundred different leaders in the community and the relationships they make last a lifetime. Biodesign helped prepare me to be a CEO by providing me with a huge network of individuals, uh, both in the Bay Area and more broadly across the industry. Having the Stanford Biodesign calling card enables you to reach out to anybody in the industry and they will take your phone call. What differentiates the Stanford Biodesign program from other programs is our almost 20 years of experience in training the next generation of innovators. Stanford's the right place for health technology innovation for lots of reasons. Network of people, access to capital, creativity, uh, I will also throw in the weather kind of helps. Silicon Valley is, is magical. Um, it, there are no boundaries in Silicon Valley. Everything is possible. What differentiates the Stanford program, that's an easy one, it's the people. The people are amazing here. You get to learn from the people who developed the process and wrote the book. So being able to learn from those faculty directly, I think enriches, you know, makes the learning process that much better. If you look at how many patients that have been treated, how many companies have successfully been created, how many jobs have been created, how much intellectual property has been created, those are all real hard measures of the success of the Stanford Biodesign Program. Seeing your product be used in patients is amazing. It's the best part of my job and the highlight of my whole professional career. When the fellows leave, I think they're incredibly well equipped to tackle any 
MedTech Innovation Project and excited to take that knowledge and put it into practice. If you're really passionate about innovation and about having an impact on healthcare, there's no better place to come. For someone considering coming to Stanford Biodesign, I would strongly recommend it. I would say go for it.